Hi Virgo, welcome to your singles reading for December. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you for coming back. So this is for Virgo singles who's coming towards you. So if you're just dating someone, you have to be not committed. It could be you're dating. So we could get an energy of someone um, around you. It could be somebody new. We're just going to see what comes out here. So I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, this will be out before uh, December, so happy Thanksgiving. And this is intended for whenever you see this, tell whenever, because I do consider all my readings timeless. So Virgo, hope you are well. Welcome in. Let's see what we have for Virgo singles. We're going to look at, uh, we're going to get a couple signs first. I'm going to look at what is the energy of this person coming towards you. Who are they? Um, when and where you might meet this person and how and what kind of connection will it be then advice and then we'll pull more tarot on top of that so um, oh there's two so i guess those are your signs let's see what we have we have pisces and aquarius so pisces and aquarius so we have water and air hmm, okay now if you don't know anybody with those signs, it could be somebody totally new or somebody could have some that in their chart. Uh, you can meet a person that has both signs in their chart or just one. Um, so keep that in mind. All right, Virgo. Who is this person coming into Virgo? Um, you can also, uh, down below, there's a link for Cafe Astrology. You can get a free full birth chart all the signs in your placements okay so virgo who is this person coming towards virgo who are they what is their energy like for virgo spirit please at this time for virgo singles oh the magician so we have somebody here who is not afraid to manifest whatever they want need or desire in their life they are not afraid of success and they're not afraid to go after it. So we have a go-getter here that goes after their dreams, their wishes, um, their desires. It could be somebody very successful. They could own their own business, um, be an entrepreneur or something like that. They could actually be a magician. <laughs> or maybe it's a hobby or something like that. But, um, oh, okay. Somebody who is definitely a go-getter here. It's very, uh, you know, the magician uses all the tools of all the uh, suits. So somebody who's very open and honest, who's very fiery and passionate, who's very loving, caring, nurturing, and giving. Someone very stable um, and practical, so and grounded. So embodies all those energies and really knows how to make things work, how to start things, go after what they want. Not afraid to start new things either. So that's a good energy and knows how to make it happen. This person knows how to make it happen. All right, so when, like time frame, could you meet this person? So we have, I'm thinking here with this justice card, this is during the season of Libra, and I know that just passed. So that would be the end of September into October, so this may not be till next year. Could be October 8th. <laughs> but um, yeah, not till, might not be tell, or maybe you just met a person during Libra season, maybe the you know end of September and October. Uh, and maybe you're wondering, maybe it's not serious yet or committed, or this could be somebody totally new next year. That doesn't mean that you're not gonna date anybody in between, but this person could be somebody a little more serious uh, coming in for you. So let's see um, where. So, could be outside under a tree. <laughs> you could be writing or reading in the park um, under a tree here. So it could be in the summertime or during warm, warm weather, you know, spring, summer, or fall. And, you know, justice is Libra energy. So that is uh, uh, fall time. So it could be, you know, next fall time, maybe you're sitting under a tree reading or writing or doing something here outside at the park maybe even your own yard somebody walks by or somebody's lost and they pull up in your yard and they <laughs> and they like ask for directions or something like that
or you could be out shopping. Um, I think that's a tree. Yeah, so you could be, you could even be out shopping for like, um, well, I don't think you would do that in that time of year uh, for plants or something like that, or maybe for fall decorations uh, at a local um, nursery or farm or something like that. Okay, so let's see how, how you'll kind of like come into this person. So you could be in your car because <laughs> you see she's on a sled here. So you could be, you could be in your car. You could be, maybe you're going on a, like a sleigh ride or something like in the fall. You know how they do horse drawn wagons and rides and stuff like that. Maybe, you know, you're out with friends and uh, having like a nice fall day and you're, you know, riding, you know, the horse carriage, you know, through the farm or something like that or, and, uh, Maybe they're riding with you, and that's how you meet this person. Sounds silly, but people do hay rides, you know, with family, friends, you know, just for fun. I would do that, you know. So let's see here. So something either like that or something, uh, something in your car. Maybe you get in and out of your cars at the same time. Or uh, maybe they help you, they bring stuff to your car for you or something like that. I mean, they could even work at the place you go. Like if you're at a nursery or a farm, maybe they work there or you run into them and they just help you like bring stuff, carry stuff to your car to help you out or something like that. And I just noticed the word strong here. So it may be like a strong connection like right away. And we have like all this purple here, which is really about to me manifesting. Which, and then we got the magician there. So I feel like this is just going to like manifest very quickly. So let's see what kind of connection this will be. What? And I said that music for manifesting. To manifest rapidly, think of your desire while you chant, hum, sing, or play music. So I feel like, I feel like you, you're going to have a lot in common, like music and things like that. Uh, you're going to connect through music like together like you and or something like that um i think really music is really for some reason going to really bring you both together so either you could each play instruments or you could just really love music maybe you love dancing going to concerts or something like that and i think it's really going to connect the two of you together wow it's really going to help manifest this really quickly because we have manifest manifest wow Okay, so let's get your advice. Let's get your advice in this connection. Virgo. Let's get your advice, Virgo. Maybe they are a musician. And maybe they're playing like at a local, I don't know, playing music somewhere outside under a tree or something and you pull up to listen or it's an outside park venue where they hold concerts. Could be anything like that here. Something outside. All right, so let's see. Let's see, what's your advice for this connection? Too many, just one for this connection. Begin to explore. So. So this is telling you to explore this connection. So it, I'm getting telling, I'm getting that as like, uh, go for it, explore it, see where it goes, see where it leads. You know, learn and grow together about each other, getting to know one another. Wow. Okay. So let's get some tarot. So I do ask Virgo if you're new, um, and you like my style, how I read. You could check out my channel if you like what you see. Please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the, um, the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month for every sign, and they're all different. So if you would like that, hit the bell. You won't miss out. And if you do, thank you so much. You can also check the description box below. A lot of information down there about how to book a personal reading, decks I'm using, social media. So you can also do that. And a quick shout out and a thank you to everybody who's really supported the channel. Thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you. And I love to do this. So 
thank you everybody for the support. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's see if there's one more in here. Let's see what we got for the tarot. I have a feeling this one. All right, let's see what we have. The tower destruction. So I, fe I feel like this person, no matter, because <laughs> it's right under the magician. So no matter what happens to them, no matter what destruction they may go through, they can always get out of it. They can always manifest something new. It's like, okay, that didn't work. So off I go to do something else, try something new. They're not afraid, you know, if something doesn't work to try something new. And the magician again, holy crap. <laughs> yep. So definitely here, this is a person that knows how to make things happen. And they're not afraid to take chances. They're not afraid to take that leap of faith and to manifest after things that don't work. It's like, okay, just let's go do something else. Try something else. The hangman. So... You know, they may take time to think about it. Then I feel like just jump right into something new here. Six of Cups. So this is soulmate energy. Memories, nostalgia, or um, if this is somebody new, then obviously uh, you don't know them, but you could have had past lives with them. Definitely could be a Six of Cups energy. And you, this could be your energy, you know, being in limbo. You know, maybe you've been single for a while here and things just seem still and stagnant. Then all of a sudden it's like, you know, you're in your little wagon here and you just boom, run into this person unexpectedly and it's like, boop, you know, instant connection with the Six of Cups. The Three of Wands. So again, this is waiting, waiting, patiently waiting for something to come in. Yeah, I feel like you, you know, you could have been on Hangman or even the two of you, them, you know, you know, maybe they're so busy working, manifesting, you know, all these things here. And uh, they have nobody and they've been, they could have been single also for a very long time. Or maybe that, you know, you've been single, they've been single, been waiting and waiting for somebody. And then all of a sudden, boom, here's my six of cups person, my soulmate uh, that I might've had a past life with. Three cups, so getting to know one another, having a good time, celebrating, uh, going out, having a drink, meeting for coffee. So I think this is going to lead to, you know, meeting up for a drink, meeting up for coffee, see where it goes. Page of Swords here. So it's, I think it's going to move very quickly. Once you start like dating, it's going to move quickly. The Page of Swords though is about communication. So I feel like, um, I thought that was the Knight of Swords, the page. So that's communication. So I think you'd be very open and honest with one another, um, very clear with one another. You know, you're going to tell each other each other's boundaries. You know, I'm not going to hold anything back with the Page of Swords energy here. So it's a nice energy to be in. There's definitely love here with the two cups, passion with the wands. There is a pentacle here for stability, though we don't have any pentacle cards here. Let's see what's on the bottom. So, okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is action. So moving forward and very loyal. I feel like to be a very loyal connection here but very loyal to one another taking a very slow practical approach you know even this per this person may you know I don't know if they rush into new things but always on the go on the move making things happen but I think when it comes to love situations here they take their time they're smart they're practical they believe in slow growth and building for the long term and being loyal so that is, and underneath that, we have the Six of Swords energy. So definitely going to a better place here. Calm, peaceful, going into a better place. And slow growth here for the future. And usually this could lead to a proposal down the road here between you and this person. With the Knight of Pentacles there, with that pentacle in hand. He is riding a turtle horse, but you know, kind of slow. But it's safe, secure, it's grounded, it's practical. And it's long-term. Pentacles are here to stay. They don't go. And they're very loyal. So that's a good energy. Wow, Virgo. Okay, well, best of luck to you. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.